What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to TWR. My name is Tavi, and this is my world of reptiles, and I hope you are all doing awesome and taking care of yourselves. Uh, so it's just another day, another day in my world, and I am just kind of working on some things that need to get done around here with my animals since I've come back. Uh, one of those things being working on uh, Shere Khan's enclosure down here. It's a mess. You can see it's all just dirty. Uh, but I just recently did a full clean out of Shere Khan's enclosure. Uh, and just kind of reset it up for him. Uh, and so he's in there enjoying that uh, new space and just kind of exploring uh, uh, the newly set up space. It's not super newly, it's like not, not crazy different, but it's cleaner and it's a new substrate and uh, there's more I want to do to this, but I, I first of all, I, what I was supposed to do was actually switch these two. I had done, redid, uh, did a clean out of uh, Maleficent's enclosure up here uh, just a couple of days ago, um, and or actually right before I left uh, for my Christmas vacation, um, and then I came back and I did this one when I was supposed to actually switch those uh, so that Shere Khan would be on top and the Maleficent was on the bottom, uh, but I think I'm hesitant because I've got a potential different idea for this enclosure um, that might involve taking out this middle thing and, and making this whole thing accessible to one snake, um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to think about what that would actually look like for the other animal um, and which animal that I would want to put into this whole space um, if I did, would I would it leave would I leave Shere Khan or would I leave uh, Maleficent to uh, use all that space? Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if she would use that much space. It's a definitely higher than she probably needs, but she she probably would. I'm not saying she wouldn't. Uh, I just you know I've seen you know her active in this space and it's not a whole lot. So uh, maybe it would be Shere Khan. I think Shere Khan would probably utilize all of that space significantly more than she would. Uh, but I'm still playing with the idea and I'm not making anything permanent yet. So I just redid Shere Khan's enclosure here and you can see he is looking good. I've not put his water dish in because it's actually feeding day. Um, and I figured I would just go ahead before putting the water dish back in. Um, and I would just go ahead and, and feed him. Um, and, and, you know, let y'all see that. I'm sure these rats are ready to be done in the box that they're in. They've been in, <laughs> in this box a little longer than they probably should have been. Uh... But getting them out one by one now to the to the end of their their lives. Uh, so oh gosh, gosh, I really hmm. <laughs> should have brought a knife or something. I should have did a different taping job for this box for myself. Oh gosh, I'm gonna need both my hands. Hold on. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. So we have got a nice medium sized rat here for Shere Khan. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna throw that in there. Let him do a hunt. Watch him hunt it down. I'm sure he is hungry. His first meal and his fresh setup. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. That was such a worst, the worst spot. Worst spot. Blind spot. He got it in the blind spot. But he got it. He got his meal. He got his meal. He did good. Alright. So, that's Shere Khan. Um, who else needs to eat today? I'm not going to feed. I, everybody needs to feed to eat, eat today. But I'm not going to show everybody. Uh, I think... I think I'll do I'll do the house snakes. I'll do Charmander and Mama Odie. And Baku is still missing, so uh, he will not, of course, be getting fed today. Uh, but uh, let me go ahead and uh, get that first uh, feeder out and see what happens. All right, got the first one here. It's alive. The other one actually passed away on the way here, so uh, will not be alive when I feed. But I don't think uh, I think who I want to give this one to. I think I'm gonna give that one to Mama Odie. I don't think she's have a problem. So Let's see. If we can get to witness some hunting activity, should probably take this out. There we go. Charmander. Oh, boom. Boom. He never hesitates to eat. Oh, he is very aware of my presence. He is very aware of my presence. Okay, I'm going to close this now. Oh, wow. Good, the eyeball. That's gnarly. Duh. Um... My bad. My bad for anybody who might not have wanted to see that. I don't even think I wanted to see that. 
to be honest, gross. Oh, man, that was gnarly. All right, let me get this other one out for Mama Odie. Like I said, this one did not make it the trip. I think it may have gotten too cold or even just actually overheated in the box. Uh, I didn't necessarily put enough holes in it, so just didn't make it. But, it you know, considered a free kill, it happens. Its life was short anyway. But uh, Mama Odie should eat that just fine. I'm just going to find my tools, my tweezers, um, and grab that, and then we will feed Mama Odie. All right, all right. Got my tweezers. Boom, 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 boom. The golden tweezers of love. All right, all right. Take that hide off like so. Try to be quick up as it run off. Mama Odie, you hungry? Mama Odie? Mama Odie? Mama Odie? No? No? Hmm. I wonder if she'd take it if I left it. Thought she would have no problem feeding, but obviously she is having an issue with the... Maybe it's my presence more than anything. Alright, 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 alright. I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave that right there for you. And you're welcome to get it whenever, and I'll come back and check before the night's over. And if it's not gone... I'll throw it out, and I'll bring you a live one tomorrow. I just was for sure that you would not have a problem with eating live. Wow. I mean, I mean, like a pre-killed one. Hmm. I was so positive, but I was wrong. You proving me wrong? Proving me wrong, Mama O.D.? Hmm? Yeah. You're looking good. So pretty. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to close this. Put your hide back in later when I check. All right. So Mbaku's not around to be fed. Uh, but somebody else is supposed to be getting fed today. So let me just uh, get that situated today. And we. All right. Next up, we've got uh, Aria here. Who is <laughs> Sauron's girlfriend. And of course, she is an avid eater. No problem at all. She is in a jar right now, but hopefully in the next couple of months, like a month or maybe a month and a half, I'll be able to get her up into maybe a Zen Tango, or a Zen Tango, a Zen Habitat enclosure as well, or some other larger enclosure. But right now, she is living that tub life, but she gets plenty of time out to roam and explore. Uh, so she can get that physical exercise that she was not able to get while living in this tub. So, uh, no worries there, but she is now fed and enjoying that meal. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. And last but not least, we have got Sauron himself. No, no, it's behind you, homie. Go look the other way. Go look the other way. Go hunt it. It's behind you. Go get it. No, this ain't it. This ain't it. Go back. Go back. <laughs> Go back. It's inside. You missing it. It's inside. Come on. It's in there. Oh, I think you know it now. There you go. You know it now. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Go on. Go on back. Go on in. Go home, bub. Boop. Boop. Your food's in there. You just got to go hunt it. Now look at me. I'm not your food. And your food's not out here. Go hunt your food. There you go. Now you're in the right direction. Nope. Nope. Alright. I'm gonna have to leave you because you too focused on me. You too focused on me to realize that the rat is already in there. It's in there. It needs to go hunt it down. Yeah. Go hunt it. Go do your job. No.
Mm, got some gnats in there. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you. Make sure your door is closed. Uh. Woo, I'm hot. Got the heat blazing up in here. Got the heat blazing up in here. It's hot, hot. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Do I want to show anybody else feeding? Uh, no, 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 no. I think the video's gone on probably long enough. I think uh, so. I, I'm, I'm, I'm enough on the feeding of the of the of the snakes right now. I'll continue to feed everybody else here in a little bit. Uh, I just I don't want to burn everybody. Else. I just I don't know, man. I just don't see the need to to. Do a whole bunch of feeding. See, I still got me. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the feeding videos, bro. I don't judge, but uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's good up in here. Juicy is doing good. Boom, doing good, good. Hi, see, hi, Juicy. Hi, hi. Getting thick. Getting thick, Juicy. Getting thick. <laughs> All right. Uh. Yeah, I still gotta feed Zuko. I gotta feed uh who all I need to feed Artemis, Zuko. I need to feed uh Yeah, does she need to eat? Does she need to eat? Bellatrix, yep, yeah, Bellatrix needs to eat. So Zuko and Bellatrix, Artemis, uh Luna and Maleficent ate uh like last week and they had a very large meal so they should not eat probably again for like another week maybe maybe a week and a half so all right yeah i mean it's not an exciting video but it's content so you know i'm trying to stay relevant <laughs> trying to stay uh consistent like i said i was gonna do uh hit the holidays but i'm back so uh yeah i got some feedings happening there and uh i hope y'all like it oh there it is there it is <sighs> Yeah, he got it. He got it. Now he's gonna take five quadrillion years to find the head because that's what he does every time. He cannot find the head for forever. Oh, but yeah, once he's actually settled in, uh, and, and digested some of that food, I need to get up in here and, and do some cleaning of his glass and just kind of do some clean out of this a little bit. Uh, just make it look a little neater than what's happening and. Do something more with it. So, uh, yeah, that's something else that needs to happen. But, yeah. So, he ate. That's awesome. Got to see that. That's a good, good, good. I'm actually going to peek back in here. Mama Odie. See if she has eaten it. Dead one. Nope. Not yet. Nope. That's a no-go. Uh, I'll leave it in it for a little while longer. You know, it's also daytime. She may not even want to eat it right now because she might eat, prefer to eat if it's going to be frozen thawed. She's gonna want to eat that maybe during the night time. So I don't know, but uh, Charmander has happily eaten all of his 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 meal. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video now. Um, you all take care. You love yourselves. Love your loved ones. Love your reptiles. You all keep spreading those herbs. Deuces. Mm -hmm.